Hi guys, my name is Rachel and welcome to today's episode of The Stanley Parable. Today we'll be doing the explosion ending. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I have to say that this ending is one of my fi- Okay. <laughs> I have to say that this the explosion ending is one of my favorite endings. It's so delicious and evil. I enjoyed it so much. Sorry for the. When skipping. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What we need to do is follow what he says until the very end of the freedom. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he'd coming to a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I know I'll get my word out sooner or later. Uh, what was I saying? I'll follow it till the on and off switch. Uh, with the freedom ending, you turn the machine off. But what we're going to do is turn it the off. The moment he entered his manager's office, Stanley froze in his tracks. Not a living soul anywhere. Could he really be all alone? This was too much for Stanley to take. Too much for any man to take. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Well, Stanley ventured forth into the newly opened passageway. Well, it will be a passageway if you open it. Eight, four, five. Keep pressing eight, eight, four. Frick! I can't see it. I can't do it. Two, eight, four, five. Okay. I am trapped. It's not working. Uh, get out! I am blocked. Oh dear. I knew that 1980s, 19-something and whatever, 1947 isn't gonna break. <laughs> oh dear. Um, guess the only way to sort this out is restart the game. I think I cut out the loading screens. Here we go again! Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself, that's all I need. If yes. I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. Yeah. If I keep walking into them. <laughs> when Stanley came to a yeah, set yeah, of two yeah, open yeah. doors, he entered the door on his left. Good to go before. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss. Yeah, Coming yeah. to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yeah, 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 yeah. Natter, natter, natter. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Thank you, dear. <laughs> he knows what I'm thinking. He knows me. He knows I'm going through that door, so he opened it for me, he's the best, the best narrator in the world. Yeah. So, yeah we all remember this from the first episode, I think. Don't Stanley think? walked straight ahead through the large door that read, Mind Control Facility. Yes. We all remember this from the first episode, but there's a twist! Yes. The lights rose on an enormous room Boy. packed with television screens. What horrible oh, secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Whee! Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley one of them, eternally monitored in this place where yeah, freedom yeah, yeah. meant nothing. Freedom meant nothing. Heavy. 
This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Oh. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his... That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? <gasps> no. No. He refused to believe it. He oh. couldn't accept it. His no. own life in someone else's control? Never. Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't no. it? Was no. it even possible? Probably. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yes. Stanley is a... The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over an... For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. It's the area that creates The Sims 4. Got my word out! Oh, Stanley. You didn't yeah. just activate the controls, did you? Yes. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Delicious. Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, mm -hmm. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Uh -huh. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode. Eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say uh, two minutes. Ooh, ah, you now, this is making things devil. a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell oh, really? you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Oh. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. Mm. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching has. you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. Oh, you me know too. What? To hell with it. I'm going to put <laughs> some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. <laughs> oh, dear me. What's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was <laughs> capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen, screen to, screen, to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One sword? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> <laughs> You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That time so is the to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. 
to see you made humble. This is not a challenge, it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. Ooh. 30 seconds Delicious. until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me, all a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever after. Ever up. Oh, that is freaking amazing. Oh my god. That is my favorite ending ever. And I was trying, supposedly trying to save the world, but. You know. <laughs> I. I love that ending so much, it's, I painfully love it so much, really, I really do. You have no idea, it is so deliciously evil, I love it so much, I said it repetitively times. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it too, ah, uh, I really wanted the world to burn, but, what, um, uh, uh, I'm not evil, I'm just sly. I'm a sly bugger. What? Never mind. Okay. <laughs> just thinking out loud, thinking out loud. Hmm. <clears throat> but anyway, I really hope you enjoyed the explosion ending. I absolutely adore it. It's so deliciously evil. Hands up, hands down, or whatever. It's the best ending in the Stanley Parable. I love it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this deliciously evil episode, make sure you give it a like. If you find it really deliciously evil, give it a favourite. Also, if you're deliciously evil yourself, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It'll be the best. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Hopefully not as evil as this. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye. What?